What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. In today's video we're talking about some very important topics about iOS 14 jailbreaking, iOS 13.7 jailbreaking. We're talking about the rumors about a check rain that is untethered, which by the way are false, I'm going to get into that, and the rumors about an iBoot exploit that is untethered. And also we're going to talk about which iOS version you should stay on depending on what device you have, of course if you want to jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program created to fix iOS system issues supporting iPad, iPad, iPhone, iPod and stuff like that. It can enter and exit recovery mode for your device, it can upgrade, downgrade, reset and even fix iTunes errors. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know a couple of days ago iOS 14.0 was released. iOS 14.0 is currently signed with 13.7 though if you want to downgrade the 13.7 from 14.0 I would definitely advise you to do it right now because iOS 13.7 may not stay signed for so long considering the fact that iOS 14 already has a new version in beta. However, there have been some developments. Danny posted a couple of days ago, quote, before we drop all the details in our exploit to the vulnerability, we would like to advise developers that rely on Xcode remote developer tools, for example, remote debugging, unit tests and stuff like that, to update the Xcode 12 and iOS 14. And he's quoting a tweet posted by Nikias, who said, quote, more details coming soon. This is a fun one. And he is referring to Danny's other tweet about a hash probably for an exploit. And they have a photo in here of a CVE or a vulnerability that was patched in iOS 14. What they're talking about is actually pretty hard to understand. It says in here IDE device support, but it seems to be a pretty powerful vulnerability. It says in here, quote, an attacker in a privileged network position may be able to execute arbitrary code on a paired device during a debug session over the network. So it's pretty hard to understand what this is for the moment. It's clearly related to IDE and programming and Xcode's connection to the device. And it's unknown for the moment if this is usable for for a jailbreak, but they seem to be very excited about it. They will publish the vulnerability, the exploit, and of course the details about it, and they advise you to update iOS 14 if security is your interest. Now this vulnerability has been patched in iOS 14, another reason to not update the iOS 14, especially if you do have an A12 device. Now you probably know that the Pangu team managed to jailbreak the A12 and A13 devices on iOS 14 on the day of the release, which means that iOS 14, despite the fact that many developers in our community believe it's worse for jailbreaking because it has more mitigations that have to be patched before we get a jailbreak. A jailbreak is still possible as was demonstrated by Pango in here and by ABC Research. However, not even the CheckRain jailbreak is updated for now for iOS 14 and the CheckRain jailbreak is much easier to update because they already have a bootroom exploit which means that they already have most of what they need. They just need to deal with those mitigations. While for the rest of the jailbreaks, for example, if you want to uncover and stuff like that, we first need to get a kernel exploit powerful enough and then we have to deal with those mitigations. So it's harder to update those compared to CheckRain and we still don't have CheckRain updated, which is important because it means that iOS 14.0 is to be avoided for the moment, especially if you don't have a CheckRain compatible device. Now, another thing that I would like to discuss is this. A couple of days ago, there have been some rumors posted by Apple Terminal, which apparently is a Apple related news outlet outlet and they posted this, CheckRain users may have an untethered exploit soon and they talked about the fact that you know CheckRain is going to be untethered and stuff like that. Now do keep in mind that the Apple terminal is actually a big news outlet for iOS stuff. They have like 13,000 followers so they're not a small account and they received quite a lot of backlash from Axiomex, the developer behind the exploit used in CheckRain because of course what they said is actually false. Now there will be no untethered CheckRain and as you probably know the CheckRain jailbreak is actually a semi-tethered jailbreak. You need this application in here every time you want to jailbreak your device and if you reboot your phone you would have to connect it to your computer and use this application once again to jailbreak your phone. So having CheckRain going untethered, which means no application needed, would definitely be pretty huge news. Though Axiomex confirmed the fact that this is not the case. Now Apple Terminal got their information by reading the Apple security content of iOS 14, where you can find something related to iBoot. It says in here additional recognition and here you can find what seems to be a vulnerability for iBoot or some assistance that they received with iBoot from Brandon Z of Google Project 
Zero. Brandon Azad and Google Project Zero have released a lot of iOS bugs in the past and we have many exploits that were used in Uncover and other jailbreaks created by Brandon Azad and released to the public. And they even have in here a kernel vulnerability that they were acknowledged for. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean we're going to get an iBoot exploit. It's probably not even an exploit at this point. It could be just a vulnerability that you can trigger to, I don't know, panic the phone or do something. Not necessarily an exploit that would do anything useful. And to do claims like check rain users may have an untethered exploit soon, that's a little bit blown out of the proportion. But anyways, mistakes can be made. This is probably not intentional. They probably just got confused with the Apple report. Though I definitely recommend you, even if you stay on 13.7, which I definitely recommend, if you're having an A12 or A13 device, stay on 13.7 or lower if you are already on a lower version. But I definitely recommend you to save your blobs with the SS Saver if you can. So I would highly recommend you to avoid iOS 14 for now. There is not going to be a check rain that is untethered. There will probably be a check rain for iOS 14, but the rumors about untethered check rain are false. So that's basically it. I hope it clarifies the things. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.